Let's go over to the fort, the world famous Freedom Plaza. Pulaski Park. What's crazy about Pulaski is we used to have these telephones, these phone booths, and uh, people would call. They were like our personal phones. It was crazy, like you can call into the phones. As a matter of fact, you can tell if someone didn't, you know, wasn't with the crew, if they don't know about the phone booths. That's how you know they wasn't, you know, they wasn't with us or they didn't hang in DC. It was right here. And we'd be over here and this phone would ring right here. <laughs> you can be over here sitting down and you'll hear the phone. Ring, ring. Yo, somebody go catch the phone. You run over here, grab the phone, yo, what's up? And they like, yo, is, is Pep down there? Is, and you be like, who this? Uh, Sal or Tony Hawk, just for instance. <laughs> and he like, yo, I'm calling from Cali. Let's uh, put Pep on the phone. It used to be crazy. You know, I fall in love every time I see it. I wish I could take it home. The ledge, the little mini house. <laughs> you gotta be able to escape this house right here. One thing about DC, a lot of people have pop. You know, things in the water. For some, it's like you drink some water and you get pop. But nah, it's just, it's, it's crazy because uh, you know, and people like short, like me. I'm pretty short. I'm not too tall. Tusi's definitely to me. I feel like he set the tone on the pop. And like Tusi, at all, I used to see him come down. Brian Tusi used to come down. His legs was like like this big, big dude. <laughs> and he was like a monster. He'd come through and rip, you know what I'm saying? And you just watch him pop. So much power and aggression, it's like he owned the skateboard, you know? And, and, and that's kind of who one of the dudes I looked up to, you know, with the other guys as well. But Foss like popping, he was like hands down one of those dudes. At the end of the day, if you don't want to jump down anything, you don't want to grind anything, you got all this flat ground right here. General Pulaski right here. That's him right there. Aye, aye, Captain. Got the mega clock right here. The White House is like two blocks over. You can see part of it, but it's the next street over. Not this one, but the second street over. All this stuff passes through here. The president usually comes through here every now and then. Like you can see, because they had the street blocked off. This is the strip. <laughs> it come through, and everybody has to come past here. And you can't miss this place. It's the beating heart. This is why I think it has really helped uh, Freedom Plaza, Pulaski Park be like a, a, a monumental place because I mean, everybody has to come past here. And one another, if you see, well, if you've seen skaters over here popping and you know, little kids might say, whoa. And their parents say, oh, let's go over there. And that's how, you know, how it happens. This vendor right here is very monumental. This thing has been here since like day one, the owner, uh, was a gentleman named Gus, so his kids and everything still running right now. And uh, basically, like, Gus was so cool, like, always helped the skaters out, like, he was always cool, like, we would, we have credit with him, like, you go get free stuff, and, you know, he's just always been there. Darren owes me $5, so one of y'all out there could uh, give me my money, please, I would appreciate that you owe me $5. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but look, so, you know, this, again, this is, this is a part of Pulaski, if you were, uh, had anything to do with the scene back in the day, you know that this was what I go to. The stores could be over here, around there, over there, but we was coming here first. This is the spot, you know, and they grew along with us, you know. <laughs> I come sign that. And think it again, five dollars and one can make that happen. This thing, hold on, you might find some stick. I don't know if this is a new vendor. We used to have stickers all over. This might be a new one. Oh, it's been, this one oh, it's been there, clean. On top of the metal part. Oh, here he goes little. Oh, here he go picture right there. Good. <laughs> Crew, my, my home. <laughs> you remember the phone booths? I was telling them that. I was like, people used to call there from California. People would be calling, like, you can ring in on the phone. I used to be in the house, like, yo, is anybody down there? So before I left the house, I'd know when I started getting over. I think we were answering the uh, closest to it. Like, yeah, come on down, man. Yeah. Uh, bring our money that you owe us. <laughs> crazy. 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 So DC 
D.C. gets a lot of tours, you know, like far as like the skate teams. They, you know, a lot of people like to come to D.C. So it's like they're always looking for new spots. They're always looking for a spot to warm up and not get hassled. Because if you go to Freedom, you might get a hassle, especially if you come early. Now, with Maloof being a park that you can probably go to any time, that you can go to any time of the day or, you know, however it's set up, you, you know, people going to want to go there.